Hey guys, my name is Ingrid and welcome back to I Think It. For those who are new to my channel, welcome. This is the space where I show you how to cook vegan, gluten-free, allergy-friendly recipes and also show you all of the amazing food I get to try all over the world. So today I am home base. That means that I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving and as I promise you, I am going to be sharing more recipes today. So first, we're going to be making mac and cheese. I'm also imagining this potato casserole, but I'm gonna use sweet potatoes for that. The third one, we are going to be making a quinoa spinach with butternut squash salad. I think that one's gonna be the easiest one. In the fourth, I'm going to be making my grandma's beans recipe. She makes the best drunk beans, literally, if you translate from Spanish. She calls it frijoles borrachos, which means drunk beans. They're amazing, so I'm going to be making that for you guys today. Alright guys, do you remember how I told you that making the quinoa salad is going to be the easiest? So literally, it's gonna take a few seconds for me to make it happen. I am going to be using this organic quinoa. It has three colors. And also I just need a measuring cup and that's it. So I have a rice cooker and I usually make my quinoa in that rice cooker. And it tastes delicious and it doesn't take any much of your time. Let me show you basically what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna plug it in and you'll get to see that the light comes on. All I need to do is add one cup of quinoa and then two cups of water. And then you turn it on. So now it's cooking. Hey guys, if you saw last week's video, you probably saw me struggling cutting the pumpkin. So butternut squash is going to be a lot easier to cut. First, we're gonna get rid of the top and now we'll get rid of the bottom. So now we're gonna peel it. Once you peel it, cut it in half. Now let's go ahead and get rid of the flesh. Once you're done, you can just cut it in small pieces, which is now going to be ready for us to bake it. And you're gonna need to bake it for 40 minutes. Since you already know that I don't use any oil to cook, just go ahead and add three cups of water Add some cranberries. I have these cocoa aminos that I really enjoy adding to my veggies. It gives it a really nice flavor. And of course, add a little bit of salt. So this one's really easy because I already got the spinach. So all we're gonna do now is put in our quinoa. And after that, all we're going to do is add the butternut squash. For the mac and cheese, this is actually really easy. I have this gluten-free pasta. It is brown rice base. Honestly, this is the best pasta I've been able to find. They don't have elbows. That's why we're using a different type of pasta however it is going to taste like mac and cheese then cover it and boil it for about 12 minutes once cooked proceed to drain all the water then go ahead and add it into a baking pan we're going to need three slices of cheese. In my case, since I have allergies, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one from Follow Your Heart, which is gonna be coconut milk base. In addition, I'm going to add oat milk. And one cup of water. Make sure to add as much nutritional yeast as you would like. Mix everything and then bake it for about 20 minutes in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit degrees. Once it's done, go ahead, remove it and add a little bit of salt. Now 
Okay guys, so this is the coolest thing. This literally slices my sweet potatoes a lot quicker than me cutting them by knife. However, I just have to cut it by half. This is already, let me show you. So I already have this, so this one will work. So let me go ahead and show you how it works. So basically I just put it inside. Then I make sure I close it. No, it's too big. <laughs> so we're gonna cut it a little bit more. Okay, so that works. Then I make sure that... So that's how it works, but I did not realize that it was already on. So let me show you one more time. Once you've slid all of your sweet potatoes, go ahead and add them into a baking pan. Add 4 cups of cold water, minced garlic, a little bit of lime juice, and some salt. This last one is breadcrumbs. This is actually gluten-free and they're made out of chickpeas. You don't need to add it, but it tastes good if you do. So for this last part, you wanna make sure that you get rid of all the water. So they're literally cooked, but I love to add a little bit of spices. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So paprika is a must. Now that I can evenly distribute it, I'll add salt. And of course, I'm gonna add a little bit of mozzarella cheese to this mix. Then I will go ahead and bake this for seven more minutes and we are done. Okay guys, if you watch my videos, you already know how to make a bean soup. If you haven't, I am going to show you in a moment. You're going to see the screen where you can see how to make it in my what I eat in a day video. If not, I'm going to leave you that video below so you can see how I prepare the bean soup. But continue watching this video and then go to that one. First, let's start by cutting some tomatoes. Repeat the same step for the onions. Repeat the same step for the cilantro. Now go ahead and add your beans which I previously cooked for two hours. Add some ketchup. Salt. And cook everything for about 10 minutes. So here they are, mac and cheese, beans, our butternut squash, quinoa spinach salad, and our baked potatoes. Hey guys, so this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoy getting to learn some of the dishes that you can make this Thanksgiving that are going to be completely allergen free. If you have any friends that have allergies, make sure that you either cook something nice to them or you share this video with them. If you don't wanna miss any of my future videos, so make sure you subscribe, just click this right button underneath your screen and ring the bell in case that you want to receive notifications every time I upload a video. I know that a lot of you don't wanna miss those. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. 
And also, if you are curious about where I get all of my kitchen supplies and diverware, etc., I'm going to link all of those in my Amazon account, so that's going to be in the comment section below. So thank you so much, guys, for being here. I know that this is the time to be thankful for all of those that make our lives happier. And I know that for you to take some time of your day to watch my videos means a lot to me. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing time with your family, with your friends. Make sure you tune in next week for regular times. We're going back to Wednesday morning. So I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye, guys.